Oh, nice. It's all good. Sorry. I'm... It's pretty good. It's pretty good ratio. I feel like it was like well, the first one I fully realized. Yeah, it's just us. Alright. I didn't see Scotty and McGee out there. Now it's you. It's my work? Fine. Hi, hi, hi. My microphone is this. fucking gigantic. Does this go down a little bit? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, you can put it down. Um, I don't have the upper. To, it's, shit. It's pretty, uh, I don't have the upper body strength to put this down. Can you? Um, <laughs> Wait, what is this? That's. Who put yeah. that together? It was like. Hercules or some shit. Yeah. In the book, good. she like loses her shit. It's like yeah. there you go. Goes to town. It's still like right there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. All, over, all the way down. Like, you kind of have to get like, close to this. Like, oh no problem. It's pretty. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Every everybody. Everybody. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Let's get a let's get a test from everybody. Go ahead. Test. Uh, check, check. 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 Hello. 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 Check. 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 Okay, let me oh, turn that check. baby, check, I check, love check, your way. Who's so it? These are, so this is you, uh -huh. and then these are Fred, Oh, baby. Tyler, okay. Oh, oh baby. Ty, Ty, let me get your test again. Check, 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 check. Hello, hello. Hello, check, check. Okay, let's get Brett. Vomit, vomit, regurgitation, puke, puke. Reciting facts for YouTube audience. Perfect. And now I'm testing myself. Uh, little ponies and giant, uh, giant, giant uh, condoms. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we got something going here. This is my show. Okay, so we're pretty much ready. Uh, well, well, one of you go to your desk and make sure that it all sounds good. Sure. Okay, cool. Just watch, watch my Twitter. I'm gonna tweet it out in a second. And Mike's just gonna hang out. Yeah. Wait, what? According to what? Oh, his sister was split in half by the pound or by the. According to Oprah. 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 Uh, so tie tie for this. I'm gonna have you start uh the live stream with a victory cry. All right. Oh, Here we go. Just throw this door. door open. Can we close this door? Yeah, close the door. Is this Pri it? Privacy. Yeah. Well, hold on. By the way, you like this image? Yeah. <laughs> that I made it whipped up. It's pretty good. That's me and Spool. Is Spool here, by the way? He looks like yeah, Arya. Can you get him in here? You gotta have somebody to harp on. Can you wear this hat? You can wear the hat. You can't tell me what to wear. No, Spool. Yeah, Spool mm -hmm. should definitely wear a team. Huh? Make him wear whatever you want. That's why you should use him. <laughs> Spit in his face. I'll wear my hat. So this is Timo. Yeah. All right. Those professional gamer boys. Give me that hat. Already. Give me that hat. There's a. Do you want this hat? I'll give it to you after. Uh, All right. Here we go. Sean. Welcome to this, the live stream. Trade your hat. Cool. Get your megaphones. Get your get your precious megaphones. Get your megaphones. Megaphones. Can I wear the hat? I forgot whose uh, levels are whose. <laughs> whose um, levels are. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You gotta do your. You gotta do your battle cry. Ready? Ty, go do your battle. Cry. 
Oh my God! Welcome to the News Jerks live stream. We, we get, began it with a war cry, as we should, because we're talking about Game of Thrones today. I'm gonna put a, a little spoiler thing up on the, sc uh, the screen anytime we're talking about spoilers. Oh, but I haven't watched Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to have it spoiled for you. Uh, you get to watch. Oh, I guess you can wear those headphones. Spoiler <laughs> headphones. Do curious with those headphones on. Um, in case you haven't noticed, uh, I can we. Still hear everything. We now have a microphone set up, so uh, a lot of people were complaining about audio. We're working to fix that, so we've got everybody has their own mic. But let's go ahead and introduce everybody real quick, yes, we do. Uh, and then and then your Game of Thrones <laughs> name. Uh, so I'll start off with uh, Ty. Uh, you thought I was going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows who you are. Yeah, Ty, that's me. I work here at Machinima. But you know how there's a guy that what's his name? Something the Tall. Do you remember that guy? There's a guy in Game of Thrones named something that's tall. So what is your Ty the? I think like you should give names. I don't think we should okay. be in charge. Uh, of it. Okay. Yeah. Ty the the indie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll I'll do better with you. I promise. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hondar. I work on Machinima Realm, and I uh, sometimes do things for ETC. But yeah. I mean, yeah. When, whenever we get the chance to put you on. I have a wolf on my do. shirt. Nice. I have a wolf on my head. Sorry, here, this is ceremoniously really yours. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. All right. This so has a bell on it, too, so you don't get lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, and then, of course, we have... Michael. No, Spool, <laughs> we have you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have <laughs> you. <laughs> Introduce yourself, Spool. I'm Sean Poole. Turn up your damn it's mega... maximum. Why are you sitting so far away? You could share the mic. Because somebody has to be Jeremy. All right. Somebody has to be so, Jeremy. Should we get cracking into this game? These Game of Thrones things. I'm, I don't, if yes. so, let me let me put spoiler on the screen just so everybody knows it's okay. Spoilers now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. The whole ah, ah, oh, it just says spoilers. Did everyone, right, did everyone just leave? No, spool has to stay. Okay. <laughs> So let's me. start off with how did you, how did you feel about the episode? Great, I felt great about it. It was it was, feels good to be back. Feels Definitely good to be back. I thought it was a strong opener. You know, they always have those season openers, and I thought the melting down of ice into the two blades was very oh, yeah, like, that was great. thematic. The oh credits. yeah, yeah, yeah before yeah. credits, I thought it was great. I uh I, I do like the fact that they showed everybody. They showed everybody except for Greyjoy and then uh, the the kid that couldn't walk. Right, so not everybody. Kid sure glad walk. Spool's here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Wet Blanket over there. I'm just, I'm just clarifying for the people. I think they, I think that, no, you don't have to put that, that's, he has the megaphone so he doesn't have to. I just, I think maybe it's good. Um, anyway. I feel like he's a part of the group. <laughs> no, leave him out of the group. <laughs> uh, so whose was your favorite of, of everybody's story in this first episode? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. Arya? Watching Arya stab mm -hmm. people a lot was great. Ari's got the uh, Ari's got Needleback now. Yep. Better than Nickelback. Can we can we review the different plot lines so I can make the best educated guess? I mean, Ari is the obvious choice, but what else happened? I like the boobs. I like uh, the boobs. Jamie. Let me get got some of those his chicken. Hand of gold. Okay. And Cersei said, "Uh uh." Oh no! Don't touch me with that gold hand. <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> that gold hand looks like it's gonna be more problems than it's worth. Yeah. yeah. He is right. A hook would have been more functional and cooler. Yeah, it would have been way cooler. <laughs> or just gold, like a, a sword. Hook. Just give him a sword on his hand. Yeah. And then you oh, don't have to do oh, anything. Oh. You don't have to hold it. Great. Or like point. a gun. Like, come on. <laughs> There's just uh, cutting things <laughs> everywhere. You removable. You can swap out. I think isn't even hook and like uh hook. <laughs> I, have, have you ever had a stump? Do you know what it's like to swivel on things onto a painful stump? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> so let's not maybe let's not read too much into this. What else? Uh, I got honestly the the biggest thing to me, and I know this. I obviously every for everyone else it was Arya, but I knew that shit was coming. Uh, was the dragons uh, almost biting Khaleesi? Because to me, I feel like that... You've read the books, right? Mm -hmm. To me, I feel like that's going to be like a big deal. Like That's going to be a big deal all the way until the end of the book. I hope so. Her story's been pretty boring so far. Thank you. No, dead children weren't enough for Spool. Yeah. All <laughs> saving an oil army of slaves she wasn't good enough. Had zero problem up till now. What? What are you talking about? I, I, I am on Spool's side. Dragons for once in my life. She's a like, widow. Her baby is dead. <laughs> 
That's her, first they season killed woes. her friends. That's first season woes. Up until then, everything's just been kind of easy peasy for her. She's just been she's like never had her it. entire fa- not even just like her husband is that her entire bloodline was hunted <laughs> down. Her as a person, she's had some bad shit happen, but as in the show, it's been really boring. Literally, me. if if everyone in my family died, but then they were like, "But you get three dragons," I'd be like, "Yeah, all right, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool." Wow. Yeah, it'll get me out of every problem. You wouldn't trade. You wouldn't trade your entire family for three dragons. <laughs> Look at that. He has. At least I hesitated. <laughs> say no. Sorry, guys. Uh, they each become a dragon. That's now that I could get down with. Just uh, turn my family into dragons. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but they could they talk. No, they shouldn't talk. <laughs> they should not talk anymore. Uh, the Red Viper of Dorne. That is... Oh! That's going to get interesting. That's going to be real good. He's yeah. not been called that on the show, so hey, spoiler. Yeah, but he is... is you know, that's he's his... Red Viper. He's a, he's a warrior. That's why they call him that. He's a scary dude. They the made him. Was, the guy that was uh, trying to sleep with... Uh, with with the guy that owns the that, that runs the whore place. Yeah. yeah. He's one of the managers. They made him like assistant manager. They okay. made him way more lascivious on the show. I mean they're just like they're swingers now. They're just like, yeah, oh, like yeah. sex it up. Yeah, with his uh, his paramour. Yeah. She's cool. <laughs> Man. Haley Williams. It's gonna be real good. Wait. Did, did we did we see the, the... Nice. <laughs> good, go, good god good <laughs> god. Uh did we see the Red Queen at all? Uh, I... No. Who? What? No, yeah. We didn't see Stannis. At... Uh, we no. didn't see Stannis at all. Okay, so that's three groups that we didn't. The see. The bell rung in my ear as you were talking. We're not gonna. We're not gonna see Great Joy again, right? I. I think so that's presumptuous. We've read the book, so. We've... I mean, you want to just tell it? <laughs> but where? Well, as Ding Dong's spoilers going. Spoilers I mean, could get out of here. What, what worst things could happen to? I was. I was trying to explain to a woman that if they, that if they cut off your penis, you're like it's over for you, like your whole life. Like I don't know what I would do. I would just be completely just like just a drone or something like that. I don't. I, there would be nothing to shoot for anymore. Oh, what's yeah. his face? I guess Spain. He's, He's done a lot with no balls or dick. Yeah. Yeah, but that was his choice, right? No, oh. wait, it wasn't. No, that one guy did it to him. <laughs> Why would it ever be anyone's choice? <laughs> <laughs> take him. Nah. I'm done. Yeah, I, pants fit weird. Just take the ball. <laughs> I, I would say this, unless you see a character die, physically die in front of you, as described in the book or on screen, assume they're still alive and assume that there's never it's never too late for anybody to okay. do something of value. I'll throw something at you then. Even what about, maybe if they're dead. What about the uh, what about the oh, guy that fuck. trained Arya? <laughs> we didn't see him die on screen. Who? We heard him scream. We, but we didn't see it. Serial right, for Pharrell, oh. the sword trainer. He, I'm going to just tell you, he's dead, guys. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> he's not coming back. He was cool, though. Like, he Arya, had swag for days. Arya has plenty of people to meet, though. Yeah. That By mean? the way, I didn't, put that, I didn't put that there for you to fucking put your legs up. It was just to be to set up oh. microphones, and now you're like... You're a real son of a bitch, Ty. I hope you're comfy. It's kind of awkward. Kick it over. Be a be a, like a uh, just an angry child. There we go. Fine, mom. <laughs> who, who are you most excited to see from that we haven't seen yet? Uh, I guess the the what's his name? Like, the that... <laughs> Here's what I love about the new seasons is that in the openers, they're like, here's what happened last season, and it's all these like really weird specific things that could only be related to the plot. It's like. Well, last season, Sir Dantos was drunk, and then Polliver <laughs> took her sword, and you're like, who the fuck are these two idiots? And you're like, oh, okay, well, thanks for reminding people. Yeah. But let's talk about that last scene, can we? Get those oh, chickens. Okay, yeah. Give me those chickens. I need two chickens. <laughs> another chicken. All the chickens. <laughs> Look at this thing. That was a great impression. Angry man. This is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Look at this. Oh, He's so sad. He's all born. Anyway, here you go. Oh, man. Look at that. So let's talk about the last scene. <laughs> Fuck the king. Fuck uh, the king. It's interesting as it pertains to the book in that I almost wasn't sure they were going to do this scene. Because in the book, it's the tickler that she kills. But they killed... <laughs> they uh, it's Definitely a scary <laughs> nightmare. They, they killed him last season. She made him one of the targets for like her three kills. Yeah. So to uh, still yeah. get that scene was good. In the book, she like loses her fucking shit on the tickler. She like gets that she gets needle needle back, and she's just like, you know how like in the torture scenes, they're like, where are the treasures? Where are the gems? She's just like, where are the treasures? Where are the gems? Oh, and she's just man. like over and over and over and over again. But 
But in the show, it was quite good. Yeah. He had some good, great lines, the chickens, like you say. Well, I mean, even even the methods of which they were, like, offed yeah. was yeah. incredible. Because, yeah. I mean, it's not, it wasn't just a simple stab. They were, like, yeah. slow yeah. stabs. That was good. I like the deliberate, just... And her little lines. So they, they did it and, very well. And for then, like, exactly what you said, the one where he's just slamming his head into the... <laughs> I need that on an animated no, gif where it just never ends. I, Somebody I, whip that up. And one thing that um, people... I don't know if I should talk about this. Ooh, what, can you... <laughs> about, <laughs> whisper into his wolf ears. Everybody, th- everybody talk to yourself right now. Because I need to show that. Oh, uh, no. I think they can still hear you on your little microphone there. Yeah, yeah, it's worth noting, man. It's on camera. So, All right, go ahead. Tell one, us. one thing that people saw, but I, I have a feeling a lot of people forgot, was that the hound got stabbed like three times during that fight. Really? And you, yeah, and then you just see him like riding away with her, but you don't really know if he's okay or not. Well, he had the chicken. He seemed okay. <laughs> I don't know if he, he got did. He was chicken. eating the chicken. It wasn't. Maybe, maybe that's. Yeah. Maybe that's. Oh, don't worry about me. I've got my chicken. Well. <laughs> All right. Well, great episode. Great starter for sure. Um, I watched. I'd watched the last episode. What rolling into it, it was per, it was seamless too. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I did that too. The, per, the one. I before. should have done yeah. that. Yeah. It's, it's all, that's actually always because it it's seamless. They they yeah. bleed into each other. How did so. how did season three end? What was like the last scene of yeah. season three? The re, well, it, no, the red wedding right, had just happened. That's and then lifting before. Daenerys up like a football player. Uh, and they were like, <laughs> "Mother, <laughs> blessed mother." Yeah. Crowd surfing. Yeah, it was, it was great. Dump the Gatorade on her head. Yeah. But you would see. He really hates Khaleesi. He hates woman empowerment. No, wow. You were boy. You were the definition of the peanut gallery. She's a peanut. <laughs> I need more peanut. What? Well, I, what would you like to have happen to Khaleesi? To her or just around her? <laughs> to her. Jesus. I'm a literal person. Okay, Joffrey. <laughs> Christ. No, I just think through season three and two, she didn't really have that many. Problems that she that the dragons didn't take care of for her. Dude, it was like yeah. once, dude. The, the, the dragons only took care of like one thing. They took care of the warlock guys that stole the dragon. Oh right. <laughs> they did that. They right. got all the slaves for her, basically. From so the, the dragons saved themselves. Okay. Let's be clear. The dragons didn't like take all the slaves. <laughs> Those <laughs> guys. The dragon cooked that one guy, but like the slave, the, like the the unsullied killed everybody in the city. She, that was a done deal. That was just crazy. No, no, it faded to black. The dragons could have done it all. <laughs> they showed it. The they clearly showed it. Do you think anytime it's black, the dragons are going and fucking <laughs> shit up? <Yeah. laughs> That's exactly what I think. Save money. Previously on Game Black of Thrones, the drag. Smoke, the smoke fills the room. I think the, the, the camera lens. The one question on everyone's mind, though, is: Are we going to see dragons have sex? Why would dragons have sex? They lay eggs. What? <laughs> they don't have sex when they lay eggs. Do you know? Do you know how egg fertilization works, Spool? Maybe. You know, chickens need a rooster to fertilize the eggs. Yeah, but the, doesn't the rooster fertilize the eggs after? No, they're not fish. So the, do you think the dragon just goes, okay, yeah, I'm going to have a baby, blank, and it just, like, has an egg? Well, they just lay eggs, and then the rooster comes by and fertilizes If any animal on Earth has violent, serious fucking, it's dragons. Right. You think a male dragon's like, I'm going to just come on these eggs? No. <laughs> I think, is, I think that with is... that, I'm going to re- remove the spoilers warning now, because I don't think we're actually spoiling Spoilers. Anything. Dragons do not come and on their eggs. We're no longer spoiling anything. Whew. Okay, cool. Well, okay, we all saw a different movie this weekend. Um, I'm officially desensitized to violence. It finally happened this weekend. Oh, because you saw The Raid. I saw The Raid, Captain okay. America, Noah, and then Game of Thrones, and I was done. Oh, you saw all four of those. Oh. Holy shit. Okay, so take out Game of Thrones. Which was your favorite of the three of Noah, uh, Captain America, and The Raid? Raid 2, for sure. And then what's next? Um, I don't know. Noah and Captain America are so different. They were both mm-hmm. good. I'd put them on the same level. The Raid 2, I, I can clearly lift up if that's... The, but for, you liked all of them. Yeah, I liked them all. They, they were all good. It was a good good weekend for movies. It's fun to catch up. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Ty? You saw something completely different, <laughs> something that nobody else necessarily even wants to see. <laughs> I do, though. I no, want I to do, squeeze I that too. in there. <laughs> I do, too. But I'm saying most people don't want to see it. I saw Nymphomaniac Volume 1. Okay. <laughs> Is Chew out here? Or just... I don't think it's out yet. Yeah. I, you might be able to watch it on demand. I think. Yeah. 
It was really weird. They had a trailer for Volume 2 right before the movie played. It was the weirdest thing. I've never seen a movie theater do that. Yeah. It's, it's it, did it weird. spoil it? Yeah, was it like, yeah, yeah, I thought it was. now that this was character's like, dead? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, huh? Anyways, it was really good, and like, I think... More so in, like, that the story was just awesome, and, like, the way it's told is really cool. That's very vague, yeah. Well, I mean, the the sex stuff is awesome, too, but it's, like... Okay. Good review. <laughs> I don't know. I was, the sex poster. stuff was awesome. Sex stuff was I, I, was in, I was impressed with, like, so, th- kind of how the story is told and, like, what the story is about and, mm-hmm. and the two What's the story characters. about? Real quick, because a lot of us haven't don't it's, know anything about it. It's basically about this nymphomaniac fair enough uh, her life and it 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 starts from like her as a child basically having having okay is it based on a true story it starts with her discovering her cunt it, it has so yeah <laughs> it has it has uh Shia LaBeouf so, yeah she, Shia she, LaBeouf. She, she LaBeouf he was in it a lot <clears throat> yeah well, did you yeah. see his ding dong you saw his dick you right saw his dick yeah, yeah. How, how, how do you feel about that it's it's a good dick. What is it? Is it shaped it's like a anything? Good dick. It's a good, it's a good, what's a good nice dick? dick? Describe to me a good dick. <laughs> it wasn't actively offensive to the eye. No, no. It didn't. It's, there's a weird shape or angle. Did it have any lines? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Shia. We should get out of here. <laughs> but there was a clear uh, disclaimer at the end of the movie that said... <laughs> No professional actors actually like. Fuck. Yeah, were involved in any sexual activity. They used body doubles. Uh, oh, like, boo! Like, but, but, right? you, like, but you still like see them naked. But it's they're, they're not the ones who like. You literally see like a girl like giving some dude head, and it's like it's like porn basically. But why would in that, in that case it's her. a stunt dick? Yeah. But they're not having. Use your mic. Sorry, it's a stunt dick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there but we you're go. Never seeing like her, sh- her put yes, her mouth exactly. on a dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you see it, it's like you see a it's mouth. Pretty, on a dick? It's pretty damn seamless. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> before I saw that, I was like, all right, I'm pretty sure they had. Seven. All right, yeah. so there you go, Nymphomaniac. Yeah. Nympho- Anyways, n- Nymphomaniac, and you didn't see Captain it, America? No, no, not yet. I I want to see both of those. I saw the Raid two, but I didn't see America or Noah yet. God damn it. Yeah. You know, uh. I uh I for some reason I because I had already seen Captain America oh I I shouldn't even say this I, I saw Spider Man one and three the original ones because I was like they're not as bad right I'm like they can't be as bad as everybody's saying so I watched them and they're as bad as everybody was saying <laughs> they are fucking terrible no I've seen them before but they were that was like the first Marvel movie so I was like oh okay you know let's get back into That's it. Not Fox or Sony or whatever, right? Does he not? What do you? What don't you understand? Well, I mean, Wolf? you're right that Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man, but it's still Marvel Studios, and it's still a Marvel like, property. Because uh, uh, what was it? They uh, <laughs> Spider-Man Two trailers. You see that Marvel Studios thing? Wasn't X-Men the first Marvel? It's really hard to say yeah, anything. X-Men was the first. I think X-Men might have been first, and then Spider-Man. Okay, all right. So you're that's still, how right? I'd it's be like wrong. Old right. school, right? Like, um. Is, do you find anything renewable at three? I think the scene where Sandman comes back to life is like a well done scene. Because when he like get, when he's a pile of sand and then he gets up and then he like falls apart because he doesn't know how to control the sand yeah. and then he yeah, gets it. Cool. it. Pretty much the whole time he's still trying to understand how to be. But but it's like he you don't ever really get his arc. And then at the end, right as like two minutes before the end, he's like, by the way, here's my backstory. Here's like everything. <laughs> and then he like floats away and you're just like, okay. <laughs> You son of a bitch, you killed people. He, he floated away. I don't remember how that movie ends. So. Yeah, uh, Spider-Man goes, I forgive you. And then instead <laughs> of saying thank you, he just disappears and floats away. As sa- it is. Those are some of the Ew. worst superhero movies ever of all time. And then I watched the dance scene, and I was like, this can't be as bad as it. you remember Tobey Maguire dances? Oh, God. Because he's all, he's like Venom Swagger. He's all like, yeah. Uh-huh. So he's like gliding on chairs, oh. and then and then he does the Spider-Man pose during his dance, and I'm like, uh, everybody, <laughs> hello. To be fair, if you lived in a city with Spider-Man, there's probably like all sorts of crazy oh. and like we'd all be doing the Spider-Man, like he saved my yeah. life. Yeah. Like, just ch- <laughs> thing. So like, well, it was it was the it was like the, the, this one. It was it was hold on, we were, we were like, it was, it was yeah. this one. 
Oh, like yeah. that, and yeah. it was like in the middle of a dance. <laughs> so no, I guess I guess if you're at a club and you want to like impress a chick or like joke around, you're like, hey, yeah. <laughs> she'd be like, she'd be like, oh, I love Spider-Man too. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Fantastic Four movies, remember those? I didn't see the second one. How was that one? That was worse than the first one. Really? Well, of course. I mean, that was the Silver Surfer one. I heard right? Silver Surfer was like at well, least kind of cool. Like, it was Doug Jones, right? Doug Jones. Doug yeah. Jones. But, like, what was the only cool part of the first movie? Nothing. <laughs> when they got their powers, I guess. I don't know. Was that Chris Evans who yeah, played the Human Torch? Yeah, wow. Chris Evans also plays also Captain, America. Captain America. You know, he's come a long way, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not... I don't think he was bad in those movies. The movies were bad, but he certainly owns Captain America in a way that I, I don't know that he was able to own. Uh, so let's the, let's tie this uh, into uh, yeah. into some news stories. Yeah. Captain America, who which you saw... Um, I'm pointing to you. I'm sorry. On screen, it looks like I'm pointing to you, but it looks like I'm pointing to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so, Captain America, which you saw, uh, Brett, made uh, a, a fuck ton of money this weekend. Of money. So, yeah. Most ever in an, in, in April. In April, right? Right. It beat out Fast and the Furious. It made like $100, $100 million. Fast and the Furious. It made $10 million. Oh. oh, from the past. Okay. Yeah. I think Captain America had like... Didn't it make like 200 million? It made 10 million on the midnight screenings. Oh, yeah. Wow. So Marvel's never going to stop making superhero movies ever. So I guess we got to start plucking out some obscure superheroes to start making movies. They're, they're doing, a, as they did, uh, they called out, sorry, this, this might be spoiler, but they called out to some of the people they're going to make movies of in the future. Did you catch these? Mm -mm. Doctor Strange. Okay. Uh, they, they showed Tony Stark's building real quick at one point when they were attacking. And then I forgot the other one. They called it Banner. Bruce Banner, they, they called him out. But but they, they called out uh, St Doctor Strange. Can I give you a spoiler in terms of post-credit sequences of Captain America 2? I mean, okay. it's out there, Okay, right? hold your ears for one for 30 seconds. It's not a story spoiler. It's just two characters that they show are there. That so, are going to be in Avengers 2. So... At the very end of Captain America 2, you see Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, and they're like, they're like, oh, the twins, which is super weird though, because they're also supposed to be in Days of Future Past. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but but to your point, Fox owns the rights to that. But because those characters are so immersed in both the Avengers and X Men, it's like it's almost like they're like, okay, we'll share, we'll share a little bit. But like, could they? Magneto's their dad, so like he probably won't appear in the Avengers: Age of Ultron, right? Uh, yeah. But See, isn't that... we have we have that Venn diagram on the wall of like who owns yeah. what and Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are in the middle of two uh, Venn yeah. diagrams. All right, but they we... like respect each other's casting, right? I, yeah. Didn't they cast the same actors for Days so of Future both Past? Own them? Yeah, I, or they're playing fair. They're, they're not like here are the here are the real actors. And probably they were. So they were they probably weren't yeah. specifically mentioned in like the deal or something like that. So Marvel probably is like, yeah, you guys can. Use look at these two. Look at these. Look at the dork on the right. He's from Spy Kids or some shit. Yeah, he looks. So like wait, are, are there different? Wait, I'm confused. So different there are different. Actors. Actors. There are different so actors, oh. and and one is a complete idiot, and then the other one looks like he belongs as a superhero. Looks like Aquaman. Look, his hair looks like he's running really fast on the Disney side, and the other one, it just looks like you know, he can't be bothered. He can't be fucked with this. Yeah, Disney so, has kick ass. So that's interesting. I I'm then I'm wrong. I then I thought they had the same actors, but he looks really he looks really good at the end of um. Captain America too. And both of them they look scary as fuck because they're supposed to be like oh, we've got the twins. It's like the head of Hydra talking about his like prized whatever. I gotta so. say the, the huh. Olsen twin, whoever uh, is playing the Scarlet Witch, that's she looked awesome. Like that's she had the, Emily Olsen or whatever. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. One, uh, she is one amazing. Of the, oh yeah. Hot. She's gonna be good. Yeah. She's in Marcy May. Yeah, yeah. She's great in that. Yeah. Okay, I want to get your guys' opinion on something. Uh, this next news story. Uh, which is that Wreck-It Ralph is getting a sequel. It's been confirmed. It's been rumored, but it's now confirmed. Mm -hmm. How do we feel about that? Do we feel like Disney shouldn't be making sequels? Because that and that that was like completely. It was like packaged right and everything. How do we feel about that? I think that's probably a good idea. You think it's that, a good idea? Yeah, I think it'll do well at the very least. I don't know if it'll be good. You don't think it'll be? Will it, Will it be I as good as the first? Do you think it's it has it has potential yeah, to kind of I like ruin so. it? Oh, to ruin it? No, I don't think so. I think there's still a lot to like go on within that. Like, I don't know if I want to call it a gimmick, but like. <laughs> well, they're already promising Mario will be in this one, which like I really I'm not, you know Sonic was in the other one and people lost their shit. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not sure that was the most exciting part of it for me. I, I think like you work at Machinima, video game characters yeah, inter- interrupt every, things like every day of my life. Like wait, yeah. maybe that's the problem. Maybe we're too close to the to yeah. the burner here. Yeah, I watched Wreck-It Ralph uh, 1 this weekend and was reminded how disappointed I was that they spent most of their time in this candy yeah. candy world just, you know, fucking around and making candy jokes. But So do you think that's that's like something they'll rectify in part two? It'll be more like, let's live in more video game worlds and right. more... Less- well, see, that's what I was thinking. I was like, where can they go? And I was thinking possibly to consoles. Like maybe they're like, oh, no... Now there's consoles coming out. We gotta go there, and then they have to deal with new games and like DLC, and then they have to, you know, worry about peripherals. And they're like, oh no, the the connect is you know not working right. I think <laughs> that, that all makes sense. Social comedy. You, you kind of get into like Toy Story territory if you're not careful there. Like, yeah. where are the old games and the new games have a place in this world too? Oh, that sounds like where they might go though. I mean, it, that's exactly where it sounds like they might. Mario's in it. Could it be in Mario? Yeah. No, Mario like, Land. only like the cool Street Mario? Fighter. Yeah. I think they're gonna give Mario like a split second. Okay. They'll be like, "Oh yeah, that was a good joke. High five, Mario! Hey, that's a good high five!" And then it'll be gone. I hope he just does the triple jump. Tubes. He does what? Yeah. I hope he does the triple jump from Mario 64 and then leaves and never comes back. <laughs> He's, like, <"Whoa, whoa, laughs> He's gone. He just never comes back. I don't think Ralph would ever make it down a two. He's too big. Yeah. Oh, he breaks pipes, right? Yeah. We're not really getting your mic tie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Ty. Ty's, oh, no. Ty's really slouching oh, no. on the mic. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right. Are you saying, like, his mic isn't working or he's not speaking into it? Uh, it's it's not working. Okay, so sure so working. let's let's now mu- move to obscurity. Hold on. Can you, get, can you get Ricky? <laughs> when, when it's time to move to obscurity, we need to get Ricky in here. Are you implying that Ricky is more on the cutting edge of obscure topics or just Ricky... No, no, no. That's by no means a compliment. Don't, don't take, don't take offense to that because I feel like the nymphomaniac. No, I'm just, okay. I'm just curious. Yeah. Or is this Ricky? Why did you sit anything? your mic down? Here you go. Oh, I'm just trying to assure you. That one doesn't oh. work. Timo's here. Check. Okay, so uh, besides Game of Thrones, one of the big uh, premieres that happened on uh, yesterday was. Silicon Valley? Why are you asking me? You watched it. Uh, there's yes. a lot of there's there was probably more on HBO. Premiering. Was there more premieres than Silicon I think John Valley Oliver's new show maybe premiered on? Now I get new second. season. Of now I get it. <laughs> I watched it too. What Silicon Valley? Yeah. Silicon it's Valley. It's fucking great. It's very yeah. funny. It was it's, really good. So basically, set set up what Silicon Valley is. It's a uh, it's a show about tech startups that make shit tons of money and a group of young programmers that are trying to get their piece of the pie, I guess. And it's done by Mike Judge. There you go. That's my favorite. I love Mike Judge. How, so you watched that on HBO, but you didn't watch Game of Thrones? I have little to no interest in Game of Thrones. I saw the first two seasons and uh, stopped watching. Much like... He doesn't Walking like watching Dead. the most riveting television on, on the air currently. I, no, yeah, that either. I, I said that. the most riveting. Most consistently riveting. Yeah, thank you. Th- actually, that's a good point. Thank I you. I don't know why I stopped watching it. I just didn't think it was that great. So, and that's my review of Game so of Thrones about, during talk, the Silicon Valley. Talk about all the – so basically, uh, a, a year, the big sell for you besides Mike Judge would be the cast, correct? Yeah, T.J. Miller, Kamel Nanjiani, Martin Starr. It's got a great cast. And it's just like – I mean, if you liked Office Space, which is also Mike Judge, this is basically an updated version of that as a series, which – I love the – like. Inside their office, like the posters, <laughs> uh, the posters of like the president. What is his like <laughs> slogan? It's like oh, just hanging everywhere. Yeah, like, one of the one of the quotes is one of one of the quotes is uh, to be great, you have to be good. Because like every everything they talk about is how they're like doing, they're tr- they're helping the world with what they're doing, but yeah. it has nothing to do with helping or saving the world at all. It basically makes fun of Google and any large uh, yeah, startup. Yeah, Twitter, Google, it makes all the them one all look word like douchebags yeah. because of like they're riding their bikes around and like having little meetings and having sleeping pods. And uh, no, I mean I think that's like maybe the first time they've done it since what was that ter- the internship? It's the oh, first time yeah, that yeah, anybody's yeah. actually made yeah. those sort of jokes. Um, it was really good. Obviously the pacing is a little bit different because it's, you know, Mike Judge. Well, I think that that's probably going to change in the next couple episodes because it's with any first like pilot episode, you kind of have to it's kind of like not as right. exciting as some changes. of the other ones because you're building up like exactly you're setting up what they're doing, so. I mean it wasn't I I loved it. I can't wait to see what's next. Uh, it was too short that. for me. I think it should be Game of Thrones length and Game of Thrones should be Silicon Valley length. A lot of faffing in Game of Thrones. I think you should be Ned Stark length. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Game of Thrones!
Lunchburn! Listen, I would love to last tickets? one full season Let me get on some an HBO tickets. show. I don't know what you're talking Let about. Let me get that some in tickets. the seventh episode. It wasn't a full season. It was almost a full season. <laughs> I watched that se- that, uh, that season, so I know. I hey, know. Uh, do you watch... Do you, uh, Ricky, do you watch uh, Walking Dead? No. I, that, fuck that show. Literally, fuck that show. You should just read the comics. And I, ge- I, I yeah, guarantee yeah, you that I, whatever season just happened, I guarantee you it was like the one before it where it was going really good until about halfway through, and the mid-season finale was great, and everyone was really stoked on it. And then the season finale was like, oh, wow, yeah, nothing happened. This season on to a, the next season. <laughs> this season was a different flavor, Ricky. This one was more about individual groups. And Did it taste like pudding? That's the only thing I heard about of this entire season was that he ate pudding on a rooftop. <laughs> yeah. That's because you're not watching it, and it's because I forced you to watch that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. Well, the Raid 2 was great. The you, Raid 2, you go see the Raid 2. Yeah, yeah, Everyone go see yeah. Raid 2. It's three hours of pure anxiety. How much money did that make? Does anyone know? I don't know. I don't know. Is it pull, a success? Pull it up. Uh, did you, did you watch the, uh, I watched the deleted. Scenes. I didn't see the behind the scenes. I saw the deleted like gang war. Yes. Oh wow! Uh-huh. Divergent. God damn it! Divergent made a ton of money. Yeah. Well, it's basically Twilight for Twilight fans. Not even seeing the raid dude. On here. Did you have the preview before the raid too? For the movie where the kid went to heaven yes. and told everyone about how he yeah. went to he- that was. Dude, Mine was before Noah, I had, which okay, I okay, let me tell you about my raid experience really quick. <laughs> okay. Four or five people walked out. What? Walked out of the theater. I have to be one. one of the people that walked really? out, one of the people that walked out literally broke into applause for that Heaven movie. At the <laughs> end of the trailer. <laughs> oh my God. She literally set her drink down and went, like, almost as if to say, it's about time. <laughs> it's about time we got ours in the movies. Wow. And then she walked out, like about about half a halfway idiot. halfway through the movie, she walked out. That before walking out, her and her boyfriend were talking and texting the entire time, and I wanted to like literally kick him out of his seat and down the stairs. Also because I was anyway, that's, so it's, it's kind of it's the kind of movie for it's the kind of movie for people that go see movies at at noon during the day during the week because they got nothing to do. I had the best theater experience I've had in forever, where it was like everybody into it, everybody having the right reactions, like holy shit! And by the end. Like, we had all recognized each other, kind of, like, reacting, and we were just in it. We were, like, applauding at the end of scenes. Like, See, I, I, I love I had, that. I had, like, everyone around me was by themselves except for the except for the couple that left. And their one guy in front of me was literally, by the end of the movie, this is how he looked. Oh, no! Was like, so that guy what was is that? What does that, that, that even mean? That, that guy was, no, he was great. He was reacting the way he should have because he progressed throughout the movie of being so uncomfortable that by the end he was so sunk down into his chair that he, like, and he just kept going, oh! Oh! <laughs> it was great. And, yeah, I, like, when I left there, I was just, like, I kept looking at my watch, like, I'm like, how long is this fucking movie? I, and But I wasn't bored. I was just, like, how more brutal can it possibly get? Like, the, I guess you would call the boss battle at the end. I'm not gonna give away like any 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 like spoilers. Yeah, please, because I haven't seen it yet. No, no, no. But there's too busy watching well, Spider-Man one and three. Hey, you wanna watch it at Pax East with Garretson? Yes. There yes. you go. Let's get drunk and watch it. Watch it with Garretson. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I saw the first raid with him and Nanners, and we were all like drunk and tired. And he wanted, so he wanted to see it again with people. So yeah. Garretson, if you're watching this, you don't go see the raid yet. We're gonna go yeah. watch it at Pax. The, hey, the, the final boss battle is like 45 minutes of nonstop. You are. Like you're it, I, I don't even know how to describe it. it I actually cool. invite any of our fans that are going to be at PAX if you haven't seen the raid. Uh, there's of the of the few people that are watching. If you haven't seen the raid and you want to watch it with us, fucking you c- come with us. Come to the booth on the first day. Yeah, tweet at us and uh, and we'll uh, we'll go, we'll all go see the raid. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, so cool. With a huge group of people and go see the raid. That's we're, our meetup. That's our fucking meetup right we're there. We're talking about what we should do for our meetup. We should That's just meet, abandon the booth and yes. just go see the raid. <laughs> Everybody, let's go see the raid. And then we stop at a no, we stop at a CVS, buy a bunch of alcoholics, <laughs> put it in some soda cans, and then walk in. Bring, bring your weapons. Yeah. Uh, weapons. Somebody said we that they didn't want us to finish the live stream yet because they haven't uh, climaxed. Uh, <laughs> what is it gonna take? I don't know. But well, I will say I, I was I was at the ticket booth and I literally it was either Captain America Winter Soldier or the Raid and, I, and I'm very happy with my choice. So. It's, not, it's not a bad. They were, but they were both great. Yeah, I've seen were. both. It's just like fucking action overload weekend, man. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, but Raid Two is your number one priority, guys. Yeah. What else happened? Any, anybody 
Mickey Sean, Rooney pull what happened to you this weekend? Mickey Rooney oh, died. Oh, Mickey Rooney died. Yeah, that's right. Our, our resident right. expert on Maybe? Mickey Rooney. Am I, no, I'm the resident uh, death news. Is anytime someone dies. Anyway, he was 93 and had health problems, so he was gonna die. He died of old. He's the first person in Hollywood to die of old age in in years. But there's uh, there's the rules of rule of threes. There's also that comedian that died too. Yeah, that's, he was on what is Saturday Night Live or what? he was just a, he was 50. Um, he, the, he, I read Very an article fat. where his claim to fame was <clears throat> he was in the finale for Seinfeld. He's the guy that oh, gets yeah, mugged. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was his claim to fame. There, that's like oh the guy that was in the finale for Seinfeld. Which I was like who the hell? And then they had to show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so cool. what? What? Uh, go ahead. Chat, your favorite Mickey Rooney. Chat. Moment, go. What's chat, your favorite Mickey Rooney? Uh, I don't. I don't remember. I can't even think of one right now, to be honest. Cool. I just remember seeing him in stuff. I liked him in. Uh, in he was in Peach Dragon, which is a, a childhood favorite of mine. Which is a ridiculous film. Now that I saw it recently. Who does he play in that? <clears throat> he plays the uh, the grandfather, the crazy grandfather, of course. Then he was also in The Simpsons. Do you remember that episode, uh, the radioactive radioactive man uh, episode? Yeah, and uh, he was also in an episode of The Twilight Zone in which he played a jockey that was short but wanted wanted to be taller. And then he kept growing and growing and growing. Mm. Um, All those great 60 minutes segments where he's complaining about like the weather. Was that him? No, that's Andy. <laughs> it just makes what is, that was a joke for my my dad. Question Hopefully, the, my dad's watching. Question to the comments: Who do you think number three is going to be? Who do you, who do you think number Miley three? Cyrus. No, she, her dog she just died. died. Come on, give her a break, Kale. She got a new dog. <laughs> she got a new dog, though. That's good. She had a. She got new, a new dog. She had a new. She had a new dog flown out to tour. She she got she couldn't you even say wait. That, like if your dog died and you had those resources, you wouldn't also. Take I don't know if I'd get a new dog straight away. Her mom died for it, supposedly. Oh. That's so, how her mom deals with stuff. She buys good. things. I think with a pet, it's not like a girlfriend. You have to like process and decide who you are as a person. It's like just get another dog. Yeah, I mean with a when your girlfriend when your girlfriend dies, you have yeah. to buy the co the <laughs> coffin. You yeah, have to yeah. go to the services, meet her family finally. This works again. Try. It. Does this work? Hello, testing. Bueller. Go ahead. Try it again. Hello. Hello. Yeah. When your girlfriend yeah. dies, you when have your to girlfriend dies, you have to go to the funeral. That's the that's, you have to see all of her ex boyfriends that are still attached. Yeah. Well, I I guess I'd show up, pay my respects. No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, it sounds like I've been through like five girlfriend deaths. Oh, <laughs> we've got some uh, uh, Simpsons Black quote over here. <laughs> uh, we got a Simpsons quote from Stout One, and here come the pretzels. <laughs> Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, player Whitey Ford playing for some sort of sanity. <laughs> if anybody, look, I'm telling you right now, if anybody does Simpsons quotes in the comments, we're just going to launch yeah, we'll off into yeah, we'll shit. I promise you that. So what I, I watched uh, Lisa's first word yesterday. That was a great episode. Classic season five. What, what, was, the, what was the first word? For Lisa? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, what was, what Mag was Maggie? Maggie's was daddy, dada. Oh. And it was voiced by, uh, wasn't it like Liza Minnelli or something like that? It was, some, it was like some... Like huge celebrity, but it was only like <laughs> it was like how George Clooney did the barking dog in South Park. <laughs> <laughs> and here come the pretzel. Hey, right, come real quick, pretzels. I want to know what does everybody know what their favorite episode of The Simpsons is? Yeah. Okay, let's well, start off with Brett since he knows. I know mine. Mine's yeah. the baseball episode. There's just more laughs, more lines, from just everything. The song at the end is just a softball <laughs> from Maine to San Diego. What's your favorite quote from that? That I told you, shave those sideburns. Yeah, Mr. Burns, I don't know what you think sideburns are. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, still like him better than Steinburn. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's so it's just there's so many. It's a great solid episode, and really their and their terrible voice acting really makes the episode. Do you remember he goes he goes uh he goes oh you're from New York. I heard there's a lot of murders going on in New York, and he goes I had nothing to do with it. You just know when to shut up, do you, sexy boy? <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Daryl. Doesn't his, doesn't his head get gigantic? <laughs> That's Ken Griffey Jr. Because oh, okay. he's drinking tonic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mine is uh, mine is uh, what is it? Everyone's <laughs> hooked. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? The mystery, the mystery hole. Yeah. And he goes and goes. Ah, oh, cool. Is that <laughs> falls in there? I don't even remember. Uh, for me, it's the uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Homer versus the mountain. It's the one where they do a mountain retreat. Power sauce bars. Or no, no, no. That's the that's one where they time. do the mountain, the mountain retreat with this family, and they all have to make it to the top. And he ends up hanging out with Mr. Burns in yeah. the in the in the in a cabin oh, that gets yeah. put underneath snow. Uh, I don't even remember that. It's the one where he goes. He goes. Only who can prevent forest fires? And he hits you. And he goes. The, uh, the, the that is wrong. You you selected you, <laughs> which me, which is me. wrong. Yeah. The answer is you. <laughs> Then he goes, 
We, uh, what's we, the quote where we'll he tries take to... the chair lift, which will give us an aerial view of the area just below the chair lift. <laughs> <laughs> what's the quote where, he, where Mr. Burns, like, unveils that they have uh, snowmobiles to take to the top? Or so he's like, you wouldn't be interested in cheating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you know what I like about you? You're, a gr you're a, not a disagreeable... You're agreeable men. Yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy uh, Jillikers, Jimmy Jillikers, radioactive man. Somebody's <laughs> quoting the uh, Mickey Rooney thing. Uh, uh, what's your favorite time? I just recently watched it, so I'm gonna say this one: the Beer Baron episode. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Beer yeah, yeah, Baron yeah. is a great episode. No, you won't. <laughs> no. You all know what laughter sounds like. <laughs> yeah, uh, that one's great. Oh, that somebody's <laughs> quoting that. You and what army? He goes, uh, uh, "Be careful! I have powers, political powers," and he has all of like the, you know. Oh, yeah. I love that in that one when <laughs> he walks into Moe's <laughs> and there's all the people in it. It's like, what kind of pet shop is <laughs> well, Only the jazz best music. And, yeah. <laughs> only the best pet shop in the world. And then Barney was... comes up covered in oil. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, those gears really hurt. <laughs> Baby uh, alligators and turtles might what a... seem cute, but they <laughs> grow up. <laughs> Uh, what about uh, uh, what about you, Spool? What's your favorite Simpsons episode? I like I like the Lord of the Flies one where all the kids get stranded. Oh on the yeah! I'm so hungry, I could eat at Arby's. Oh, that is. <laughs> she we'll, is hungry. We'll train one monkey butler, and then he'll train others. Yeah, and then like once his, Ralph has a bunch of good lines in there. Like he tries to race the banana. Oh, when they're on the bus. On the bus. Oh, yeah. Go they're banana! Like, go, 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 go banana! Uh, and it just, like, flops onto the ground. Andrew Daniel says, alcohol, the cause and solution to all of life's problems. I, That's from that episode. I have to go uh, do some work, I think. What a pussy. Yeah. Sean, you want to take my spot here? No. Uh, we're going to we're gonna be ending right now. Anyway, oh, okay. So. Okay, my favorite episode. <laughs> Go ahead, Ricky. What's your favorite? My favorite episode is the one where Sideshow Bob mm -hmm. gets out of prison and uh, tries to kill Bart. No, the it's Bart. The. Is that the damn one? Where you, like, no, no, no. That's where that's where Cecil's in that one. one? Like no, the, 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 the original one where joking. where uh, Bart gets him to sing the entire uh, like musical. Oh, oh yeah, the, uh, the HMS boat. Pinafore. Yeah, and no, no, the, the best part is they're in uh, the witness relocation program, and Homer's wearing a witness relocation program. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Oh, it's great. And they, they, he keeps stepping on the uh, the rakes. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> All right. The grammar, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thanks to our special guest, uh, Hundar. It's just one of those days. Ty. Ty is special. Uh, Ty Graham, thank you for coming in and bringing your nymphomaniac. <laughs> Ricky for bringing in his uh, Silicon Valley spool. I, don't, I wish you were never in the live stream ever again. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Tomorrow. The next time's tomorrow, by the way. Yeah. That's, it's tomorrow. <laughs>